praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We thank God it's Friday. I want to pray over your weekend that the Lord will begin to strengthen you. Some of you are already entering the last few hours of Friday. But may God continue to bless you and keep you. I pray that this weekend you receive strength as never before. And you will be rejuvenated as you find yourself in the house of God. You receive the priestly blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen. God bless you. All right, let's get busy. I'm sharing with you on something that I hope you would like to hear. <laughs> I'm dealing with the issue of letting God take over your issues with people. So the book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 22 says, Don't say, I will pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord and he will avenge you. Amen. Alright, so there's no title to this podcast. We'll figure it out as we go. But I want to share quickly with you three reasons why you should let God take charge of offenses and things that are, people have done against you. Let it go and let God take care of the issue. Um, now, let's start from the right place. A lot of us don't want God to take care of business when it comes to people's offenses wrong things people have done to us because we are all like aware of how kind God is there's a sense of (laughs) if I let God deal with this person he probably will not even do it Job said that I've watched evil people go and come every day and they even flourish and they flourish and so it looks like God is not the right person to complain about your problem he will forgive the person and he will not take any action against a person so here the wise man says don't retaliate don't take vengeance let god handle it and i'm going to kind of stay with you and see if i can convince you to buy into this truth we ignore certain things not because we are necessarily stubborn but we don't see the value and that's why god gives us teachers to show you what you can see by just looking at it. So I'm going to hopefully, by the grace of God, show you three quick reasons why it is important that God takes God takes the, the, the work of paying back the wrong people have done you. And based on that, let me describe what you do. You grow to the level where you forgive the person and you let God handle the rest so that you don't become, um, you don't become enslaved by the pains that, people have cost you all right so let's talk um the first reason you must let god handle it is a free reason i'm going to give you the free one and then we go into the three uh always remember that you may not know why but you can't do anything better than god can you cannot do anything better than god can do you understand you as a person you cannot do anything there is there will never come to a place a point a category of something where you your option is better than God's option so just remember that there's no way you can choose your way and end up having something better than God taking care of the business all right so that's is a cheap point so you might not buy it but it is as important as everything the first reason is because you cannot pay back exactly what a person has done to you. There's no way you can duplicate exactly what a person has done to you because when a person did it, it came from many places. It could be a mistake. It could be intentional. It could be, but you can never know. You might think you know, but you don't know. And so two things will happen. When you take matters into your own hands, you will do two things. One, you may overpay or underpay. And you say, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll pay. Whether it's over and under, I don't care. The problem is, is, that, is that as soon as you overpay, now God will hold you responsible for the extra pain you cause the person. And now you have a case with God. And nobody wants to have a case with God. Number two, when you underpay, God will not give you the balance. 
because you chose to do something that was his job which i talk about point number three you must let this truth wrap in your heart and mind so that you allow god to handle the things that people do against you because when you do it you may overpay or underpay and i said when you overpay you owe god an explanation you don't want to be in any case with god you don't want to be in any case with god in your life so you don't want to do that and if you underpay god will not give you the balance do you understand you're on your own all right let's move on to point number two point number two if you choose to retaliate you will soon realize that somebody has reported you to god in other words god keeps record and he knows all things so anytime somebody offend you that is the time god will judge you for the offense some you did somebody it could be 10 years old anytime somebody offends you remember that that is the time god is going to judge you for an offense somebody has reported you to him let me give you an example if somebody does something to me offends me insults me or does something bad to me god is watching for me to see what i will do because god has a record you can't live in this life and not offend somebody god has a record of what i have accidentally or intentionally done against somebody that a person has let god handle it so in god's book there is a punishment he's waiting to give me but he will give me based on how i handle people who offend me you understand so god doesn't deal with your your sins the way you think god deals with your sins the way you deal with other people's sins that's why he put that thing in the lost prayer that forgive us as we forgive those do you understand so god punishes you based on how you punish people so when somebody offend you and you make the mistake of putting matters in your own hands you just decided to give god the chance to destroy you but as soon as you turn the matter to god then God will hold on to it and do what the only righteous judge can do. Remember this, God does not deal with your sins based on your sins. He deals with your sins based on how you treat other people's sins. You can replay this. God does not deal with your sins based on your sins. He deals with your sins based on how you treat other people's sins. And so as soon as you decide to go and punish people for what they have done against you, you give God the go-ahead to unleash the wrath of God on your life for what other people have reported that you have done. It is impossible for you not to offend somebody. And sometimes the offense we offend, we don't even know we have. Do you understand? All right. Lastly, when the Lord said, vengeance is mine, he is saying that if you step in here, you are stepping into a place where it is not your call. Vengeance is mine means that when it comes to retaliation, that is what I, the Lord, I do. <laughs> and like, you don't know what you don't know. The Bible says that God said, now the iniquities of these people are up to the point of punishment. It is impossible for God to let an offense go. (laughs) It is impossible for God to let an offense go. That is why he had to kill his only begotten son to pay for the sins of the world. If you put something in God's hands, 
His justice demands that he will pay the person back. Paul said that for God is righteous who will make sure he pays everybody who has abused you and has also treated you bad. So on this Friday, I want you to know, you see, let me tell you this. You may not listen to what I'm saying and do it. You may not even do it. You may take matters into your own hands and slap people around, right? But I want you to know that. Just be aware of the consequence of you taking matters into That's what I'm saying. If you do it, God bless you. Some people say, Pastor, I don't have the heart. I cannot wait for God. That's okay. But I just want you to know, once you take matters into your hands, this is the ramification. This is the aftermath of what you are going to encounter. You're going to have a case with God for doing his job, st- overstepping your boundaries and taking vengeance into your hands. You're either going to overpunish or underpunish. And when you overpunish, justice of God will be against you. When you underpunish, you're on your own. And lastly, God will treat you the way you treat others. God will look at the way you repay people when they sin against you. And you use the same standard to repay you. So you, de- you decide your own punishment. I won't forgive. I won't forgive. If you keep doing that, God will say, send me a copy of the way he did it. And I will do the same thing to him. That's why I forgive so quick. That's why I don't let things bother me. That's why people think I'm too kind. I'm too kind because I want God to be too kind with me. When people offend me, I take advantage of it because I know how weak I can be sometimes. So let God handle all the offenses and you will notice that your life is going well for you. It's impossible for you to take up your own offense and life go well for you. Because any time you take matters into your hands, you destroy something else about your life that you are not supposed to. God is wise. God is smart. God knows more. God knows better. To disobey God is a lack of wisdom. No matter what your flesh tells you. It is 55,000 times better to let God handle it than for you to handle yourself. So, this Friday, God bless you. Father, we thank you. Help us. Amen.